Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka A Drive, bringing you episode 4 of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke Let's Play. So let's take a quick look at our team really quickly and kind of just go over what we have so far. And before we actually jump into that, let's jump really quickly into our question of the day. What is your favorite 6th generation Pokemon from X and Y? Mine is Pangoro. Lots of cool choices. You got like Aegislash and Gorgias, which is one of my other favorite Pokemon, but there's a lot of cool Pokemon. So let me know in the comments section below on this YouTube video what your favorite Pokemon is in Generation 6. And also our like goal for this episode is 125 likes and I'll upload the next episode tomorrow evening. So hopefully you guys are down for that. Just mash that like button for me. It really helps out the channel and it's super easy on your part, right? You just click one button. Greatly appreciate it. So let's take a quick look at our team. We had our homie Spike, who evolved into a Silcoon, which will bring us to a Beautifly at some point. So that's pretty cool. We got our boy Dom. Dom's always lifting, if you didn't know. So Dom is level 11, and he's uh, he's our, pretty much our strongest Pokemon. You have El Bandito, who's always swiping up those items with pickup from our opponent's trainers and all that good stuff. We have Taylor Swift, who is always singing as soon as we send her out. She's absolutely fantastic. And our newest addition to the team, Paint Me. A little slack off with his Pokeball eyes. So, let's get it going. Let's get it rocking here. Um, I think our best bet is uh, let's get Taylor Swift some action. And we'll keep it rolling. So, I already went to the left there. So, we have a trainer to face here. And I believe uh, we'll, cut, we'll face this guy right now. So, he's going to send out his bug Pokemon. I don't think Taylor Swift has any attacks yet. But, that should be alright. We should be able to just do like a little switcheroony. And just get Taylor Swift some levels here. So, we're going to send out Taylor Swift. And we know Taylor Swift always likes to sing when she comes out. I knew you were trouble when you want that and it's a shame on me now. Alright, let's switch it out because Taylor Swift actually has no attacks. I don't think a lot of my Pokemon have any attacks. So let's just go to Dom because Dom's always lifting. Dom's always right of the rock. He's always heavy, swall, Dom. You know how it is. So here comes Dom. Dom can take on this Wurmple without a problem. String shot. Dom says no. I'm going to break through your string shot. I'll probably still outspeed you even after the string shot. Go for that mean water gun. Goodbye, Wurmple. You're about to get destroyed. And, ooh, Wurmple, hard body. Living that hit. Going for another string shot, but I feel like I'm still have a chance to outspeed here. I doubt it, but maybe. Maybe, maybe. Nope, I'm going to have to take a tackle. Big damage there, but luckily Dom the Mudkip looking happy as ever with his little, little thing sticking out of his face. It's my Mudkip face. <laughs> you know how it, how it goes. Uh, so Dom's doing good. Dom's doing good. We're good to go. Um, let me just make one slate. Let's just move this up ever so slightly so you can see the bottom bar there. My screen got a little messed up. I think we're good now. Cool, so now I gotta face this Wurmple. He's got another Wurmple. Look at Dom smiling. This wor he's got a lot of Wurmples. I'm kind of surprised that this Bug Trainer thinks he's a Bug Master like me, but he's not. Not even close. We're gonna just go for Water, water Gun here. Just does the most damage of any move on my team. Almost knocks him out. I don't really think any of my other Pokemon have any, any moves that can attack. Does he have any attacking moves? He's got Scratch. I'm going to paint me here, get a scratch off, maybe get some experience for paint me, and hopefully start to get him. Because if we can get paint me to a vigor off, then we're good. I don't know about slack, uh, slacking, but vigor off might be decent. So, uh, paint me is, is good. So, he's going to come in here with his Pokeball eyes and go for a scratch off. Definitely knock out the Wurmple. And uh, we're moving on up here. So, I'm hoping to get through Petalburg on this episode, or pretty close. The forest, at least. Um, that would be awesome. Then comes another Wurmple. I know I'm going to be slacked off here, so we might... Or Tronted, or whatever it's called. So let's let's switch. I don't think Taylor Swift has any attacking moves either. Nope, just focus energy. So let's just go to Dom again. Dom is just going to do all the heavy lifting, I guess, on our team for now. And that's okay. If that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. So. Another String Shot. But Dom's back to full speed. I don't know how he missed his String Shot. I thought String Shot was 100% accuracy. But I guess it is not... But uh, anyway, we're going to keep it going. So I'm pretty excited, though. I think our team is looking pretty good. It looks like we have, like, three normal Pokemon. Um, but Dom, I think, is, is going to be crucial to this team, obviously. And I think Beautifly could turn out to be pretty decent. I was hoping for the Dust Dustox, but obviously um, no such luck. So we're going to have a couple new Pokemon coming up, too, that we'll be able to catch. We have the Rust, Tar Rust and Turf yeah, Rust and Turf Tunnel. And we also have uh, the route right where, like, you catch Ninkata and Skitty and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Lots of new potential Pokemon for us to catch. And uh, we'll be good to go. So hopefully we'll get some new mons. And uh, the guys that we currently have continue to hold it down. So here's our professor guy. And we'll see what he has to say to us. Hmm, not one to be found. Have you seen my Pokemon around here called Shroomish? I really love that Pokemon. And there is our Team Aqua making their debut. Look at his little goatee. He's trying to be a draft. 
I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle in Petalbug Woods didn't forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Aye! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. Ah, right, let's get it. Team Aqua. I'm actually curious what you guys think, too. This is a good question, too. Do you like Team Aqua or Team Magma more? Maybe that'll be our question next week. I think Team Aqua is cooler, personally. But that's just me, so. Let's send out Taylor Swift. Still has no attacking moves, though. But that is a lot. Uh, that's a pretty strong Poochiana there. Let's uh, let's be safe here. We'll switch out. I guess we'll go out to Dom. I guess Dom's just going to have to hold it down. That's the thing about a Nuzlocke. Until these other guys get moves, um, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to keep relying on Dom to dominate our opponents. So, you now I can take that tackle pretty easy. And we'll keep it, keep it rolling here. Hit him with that nice water gun. Should do about half. Ah. Oh. Predictions. Come on, Dom. Take care of it. Handle it. Handle this, homie. Not bad. Not bad. Took out this Team Aqua Grunt. Doesn't even have any water Pokemon. What a rookie. He must be the, like the lowest of low Team Aqua Grunts. It's like, all right, you're in Team Aqua. Here's a Poochiana. Because like, honestly, like, we're not going to give you anything else. So, Dom, you're not going to learn Foresight because I don't really worry about you facing Ghost type Pokemon anytime soon. So, Foresight. I'm surprised that Mudkip actually gets. Foresight, it's kind of a weird move to give Mudkip or Swampert or anything like that. Especially since, like, it's not like it's a normal type Pokemon or anything where it would need to hit Ghost, but... So here we get the experience share. We have decided that uh, we're not rolling with the, um... We're not rolling with the experience share on. So this is the moment of the Nuzlocke run where I may entirely regret turning it off, but we're going to do it anyway because that's how we do it. So we're turning the experience share off right about now. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't regret it. And my team is able to hang in there. So experience share off. My team is kind of weak, but I feel like we should be all right. Let's keep on cruising here. This kid, you gonna give me anything? Uh, he's gonna tell me I have to avoid tall grass for Pokemon. That's fine. And I'm gonna take on this bug trainer. Yet another bug trainer. That's because we're in the forest. I wonder if he has anything besides. Oh, he's got an Encada. That's kind of cool. Instead of rocking the um, just the Wurmple, he's got the Encada. So, if you watch my shiny hunting videos, I actually just caught a shiny Ninkata the other day. That bad boy is now evolved, which is kind of cool. So, I'm going to leave Talo in here and just go for Super Sonic and, and just kind of try to confuse this thing. And then I'll switch out after this. Uh, just get some damage. Maybe we'll try to use some of my other Pokemon a little bit here. Um, it's going to use Leaf Slave. That's kind of cool. Ninkata would be a really cool Pokemon to get on this Nuzlocke because I kind of get two Pokemon for one in a way, which is kind of neat. I don't think Bandito has any moves either. Nope. Man, none of my Pokemon can, like, attack. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Uh, I think I actually get the TM for maybe Echoed Voice coming up pretty soon, which will be really good because I can give it to both El Bandito and Taylor Swift possibly, and that'll kind of give us some some moves that'll do some damage. So that'll be good. Um, so Ninkata actually is part ground type. I think it's the only bug uh, besides Wormadam that is part ground, so we should be able to do a good amount of damage. Just straight up knock it out. Dom just puts in work all day and all night. That's what I like to see. And Taylor is going to get to level 8. Still no attacking moves. I really need this thing to learn some attacking moves. Um, but we're almost out of the forest here. We're going to pick up an Ether, which is kind of cool. That restores your PP. I don't really think that's going to help us too much. Let's just check Bandito and see if Bandito was able to take any items from anyone. Nope. Unfortunately not. And I think that's pretty much it for the forest. We can't really go anywhere else. So uh, let's just move our way out of the forest. We'll keep the forest pretty short. Not a whole lot going on here. And we got a trainer over here. This is Petalburg Recon Team checking in. I'm afraid I have to begin with an apology, Mr. Matt. It's not good news. The mission is a no-go. A little something cropped up and got in the way. Roger that. Got it. Will do. I'll continue investigating the energy we detected. Phew. But that kid sure has some promise as a trainer, I'd say. <coughs> Zinnia. <coughs> Um, all right so talk to me baby yeah echoed voice nice so that's what I was hoping for so this route is actually a continuation of the route we were on before so we are not going to catch any Pokemon but I will teach echoed voice to zigzagoon El Bandito and Taylor Swift so Taylor Swift is gonna be singing all day and all night let's get rid of growl because charm is actually better than growl and then we'll also uh, also take Taylor Swift and teach it to Taylor as well, Miss Swift. All right. So Echo Voice is actually a pretty good move too. 
surprisingly, believe it or not, it's not bad. So we got some berries here. I keep saying I'm going to plant berries and I never do. But let's get the berries, I guess. And I should probably go into the berry store and grab some berries from them, too. I think you, uh, they might, I don't know if they give me any berries. I know there's like the berry master who you get to later. But let's see if maybe they'll give me a berry or something. I'm not going to plant the berries because I'm a bad person. Talk to me. Uh, yeah, I got the Wellmore Pale. Nice. So I always like how each game has like a different, uh, different pail. You got the Wilmer pail, you got like the, the squir squirtle bottle, you got the low tad bottle thing. So again, there's no Pokemon for us to catch on this route. We already caught a Pokemon on Route 104 technically. Uh, I believe it's a continuation of the same route. So we're not going to count this as a new route because I believe it's the same route. As the one before the Petalburg Forest, so we should be ready to rock here. Uh, Taylor Swift, we're going to send her out. And promptly run things nice and sweet here um, I think there's like maybe another item or two in this grass that I can get if I'm not mistaken nice these items are gonna come in handy I'm trying to see if we can avoid buying potions and stuff from from the Pokemon centers or the Pokemarts or whatever so these items could come in handy especially like these X attacks and stuff you'd be very surprised at how useful they actually are um, they can really make a difference too if you're in a battle and your Pokemon's a little weaker uh, you never know you never know so Let's keep it rolling here. We got, uh... Yeah, we'll just run. I'm trying to save some time. But uh, I'm hoping to get to Rustboro City coming up soon. There's a few battles we, I think we have to have to take on here. And we should be alright to roll. So, I really love the water in this game. I think it looks really nice. Let's see what this says. Trainer tips. There are two pairs of trainers who challenge others for two on two battles. Called double battles. Um, so that's kind of neat. Got a battle. This girl does not know what she's in for. My team is so brolic right now. She's going to send out her Zig Zagoon. I'm going to send out Taylor Swift. Shake it off. Shake it off. Mm -mm. And oh my god, that's level 10. Yikes. Let's just go for Echo Voice, see how much it does. I am faster, surprisingly. We'll see how much it does. It's 40. That did really nothing. Please. Okay, so use Growl. So that's good. I'm going to stay in here and go for another echoed voice and see how much that does and I think we'll be able to knock it out with one more after this uh, it's gonna use growl again so we're actually in really good shape I don't know what the AI is thinking here but they're clearly not thinking about attacking me so that's fine another echoed voice and that will knock out the zig zagoon put us in a pretty good spot that's one of the things I didn't really like about a lot of Pokemon games I feel like the beginning of the game the diversity in the Pokemon and the trainers that you face is very little um, but we're going to teach it Quick Attack. Quick Attack is actually a pretty decent move. Uh, 40 base power. Gets stabbed because it's a f oh, f normal type. Plus, it's always going to go first. So, in a uh, in a non-competitive setting, it's really not a huge deal. But still pretty neat either way. And we got another trainer here. And I think... Uh, I don't know what Pokemon this lady has. We'll see if she's any good, though. She's got a Lotad. Ooh. I like Lotad. Lotad is a cute little, little duck lily pad thing. That's kind of neat. Alright, so let's just go. No flying moves, unfortunately, so we'll just go for Echo Voice. I hope uh, I learn Wing Attack or something at some point in the near future. And I'm gonna go for Absorb. I think that's resisted. It's just not gonna really do anything. So we're good to go. And uh, we'll just keep hitting this thing with Echo Voices in the meantime. Look at it like shaking back and forth. Here's me singing. Lotad, eating it up. And there's the Growl. But luckily for me, Echo Voice is actually a special type attack. And it gets boosted every time you use it in a row, which is kind of cool. One of the neat things about Echo Voice is if you actually use it in double battles and both Pokemon use it, they get the boost or triple battle. So, like, by the th by the third one, I think it does, like, I don't know, 120 base power or something. In comes Shroomish, the happiest Pokemon in the world. Let's go for Echo Voice and see if it knocks it out. I'm hoping maybe, maybe, maybe. Ooh, look at that. Talo. Swift. Girl, you crazy. Look at that damage. Alright. So it looks like we got the twin skis here. We're going to switch it up. And uh, Bandito's not picking up any items. I don't know what Bandito's doing. But uh, let's use uh, Bandito. Let's use... Ooh, let's do this. Let's do exactly what I was just talking about. How we do the dual, uh, dual echoed voicing here and see what happens. That could be kind of cool, right? We'll use echoed voice with both Bandito and Taylor Swift. Let's see how that goes. We've got Lotad and C Dot. Alrighty. 
Let's do it up. Uh, echoed voice on C dot. Echoed voice on C dot. Double attack to C dot. Well, it didn't use bite, so I don't know what move it used. Oh, maybe it doesn't work the way I said it did. I thought I think it does though. I'm pretty sure it like boosts, boosts as you go. Growl. That doesn't bother me. Well, I mean, I would imagine Bandito's special attack is a lot lower anyway, so that might be the case. This is gonna knock it out, actually. Yeah! Not bad. Not bad at all. Gaining levels. Level 11. Learn a flying move, please. Nope. I like one of the things that they did in this game is they adjusted some of the level systems. So Pokemon like Taylor actually have, um, actually learn, uh, Brave Bird and stuff now. It's just at, like, a high level, but still pretty cool. So we can just go for Echo and Voice again. We're just firing off Echo and Voice all day, every day. And that'll definitely knock out the low tad. Goodbye. Not bad. 84 experience. Bendito growing up to level 8. Learn Headbutt or something. These guys don't want to learn any moves, do they? Nice. Gina and Tina, whatever their names are. Get out of my face. You can't see a reflection in the water? Oh, you can. Should I face this, this guy? So she's gonna give me a Chesto Berry. Not bad. I'll pick some uh, orange berries off the tree. And then uh, after we pick these berries, let me just check and see if Bandito picked up any cool items or anything like that. And hopefully he did, because it's always good. I can't wait, like, the way the pickup system works is like every time they get to the next, like, decade of levels. They actually learn new moves, I think. Or, I mean, they can pick up different items, so that's kind of cool. So let's, uh, I guess we'll just face this trainer, right? If that makes the most sense. I think this guy battles us. Let's look at our reflection. Alright, so what do you got for me, baby? Baby, what do you got for me? He's got a couple different Magikarps, it looks like. I remember when you, in Red and Blue, the original games, when you could spend the $500 or $500 for, uh, to buy a Magikarp. And everyone always, like, joked how that was such a bad investment. But truthfully, Gyarados is, like, one of the best Pokemon ever, I guess you could say. So, like, if you could use, like, put him in the daycare. What I used to do in Red and Blue is I would take the, the Magikarp and actually throw it in the daycare at Cerulean City. And just ride around on my bicycle up and down until it evolved into a Gyarados. And then I'd have... This Beast Mode Gyarados, right after Lieutenant Surge, or right before Lieutenant Surge. I remember also, I used to make it like my goal to evolve my starter to Charizard or Blastoise or Venusaur um, before I got to the, the tunnel, the rock tunnel to go to Lavender Town, which I always thought was kind of cool. Level 36, I'd always like kind of power level my starter way more than, than anything else, and, and now I don't do that. I try to evenly train my Pokemon as best as I can, but... When I was, you know, a young and I used to just only train one Pokemon. Which is kind of funny. My girlfriend Danny is behind me and she, well, she just left. I guess she's not behind me anymore. But uh, she just got into Pokemon and I got her, uh, she's playing uh, Alpha Sapphire as well. And she's actually doing a pretty decent job training up her whole team. But I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they have the experience share now that's a little bit different than what it used to be. So, anyway, we're back into, or we're actually for the first time ever in Rust, Burrow City. New town, new opportunities, new potential. And our first gym battle coming up very, very soon. That's pretty exciting. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty pumped for the next gym. And there's all sorts of places that we're going to have to go and trainers to talk to soon. So, let's see what May has to say here. So, you made it here to Rustboro 2A Drive. What's this? Oh, look how big the city is. That's kind of cool. That's a lot of houses to go into. <laughs> Might take us a little while. And there's the gym. Oh, and A Drive. Have you heard? There's a Pokemon gym here, too. Once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll be sure to take it on my team. See you later. And then she books it. Avita Zen. Alright, let's heal up. Let's go talk to this guy first. I think he's got the cut. Alright, HM cut. That's another thing that I've always kind of felt about the games. I wish they made the HMs either one of two things, right? So they make all the HMs better. Like, make cut, like, an 80 power grass move or something like that. That is a chance to, like, critical hit. Um, or you make it so each Pokemon can learn four moves and then two HMs. Like, that's cool. Like, but the HMs can't be used in battle or something. 
Or like if it's only like in game, you know what I mean? Like there's different things you can do that would make it work. I don't want to be a Pokemon maniac, I want to be something else. What should I be? Uh, let's be, let's be an expert. I feel like I'm kind of an expert. Let's be an expert. I don't know what experts actually look like, but let's heal up. If I could talk to the lady. Heal up our Pokemon. They should be in pretty decent shape, but make sure we restore all the, uh, the PP for all the Pokemon moves and keep it rolling here. So there's a lot to explore in Rustboro City, so let's just kind of get a start on that and see what we find here. I don't know if this is, is this the researcher guy or is this a different guy? Um, is this, what is this here? Oh, this is like a house. You gonna give me anything good? Let's see if there's anything upstairs. This guy looks like he might give me a good item. A floatstone! I think floatstone makes it so your weight is cut in half. I don't know why that would ever be useful. I guess if someone uses grass knot or low kick, but who's gonna use those moves? A premier ball! That's kinda cool though. I might need to use that to catch a Pokemon later on, so I'll take it. Thanks for the Premier Ball, lad. And let's see if there's anything up here. A couple people. And they just say that they collect rare stones, but I don't have any rare stones yet, so not really worth my time. This is a different guy that was standing here before. For some reason, I put on a lot of... That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god, I never noticed that. So, the, the guy that stands there gives you the float stone, which cuts your weight in half, and then you come back into the room, and then he's like a fat guy. That's really funny. <laughs> I hope you guys make it to the end of the episode to see that, because I never noticed that. I think that's kind of funny. A little Easter egg. That's pretty neat. Does this guy have anything for me? Nope. Alright, so I don't want to go that way. Here's the gym, but I'm not ready for the gym yet. We're going to have to hold off on the gym. What do you got for me? Slack off for Makuhita. Ooh, do we do that? Do we trade Slack off for Makuhita? Uh, no. I can't do that. I can't do that. If you guys made it to the all the way to the end of the episode uh, so far, let me know in the chat if you think I should, uh, or the <laughs> YouTube comments. I always say the chat. I'm such a uh, Twitch streamer. Let me know in the uh, the comments if you think I should trade my Slack off paint me for a Makuhita. I don't think I should because I know it's a chance for me to catch a Makuhita later on. Uh, in addition to that, I think Slack off is pretty beast mode. Fortunately, not very good for a Nuzlocke run anyway, but still pretty cool. So let's uh, let's go down to this beach here. This is a new route, but unfortunately, I don't have any means of catching Pokemon yet. So we'll just run all the way over here. There is a Pokeball over here, a Zinc. Um, I'll probably just sell this later because I think the money is gonna be worth more than anything for me. So maybe I can buy like a TM later or something. Um, but unfortunately, I don't uh, have the ability to catch any Pokemon on this route. So we'll just keep on moving here, and is there anything here? I don't think there's anything there. It's like a weird little inlet thing. And we are on the next route, Route 116. We can catch the first Pokemon on this route that we find. So let's start sneaking, and maybe we'll find something. There's this like trainer here. He's gonna want to face me. I don't want to face you, trainer. Maybe we could find a Pokemon really quick and catch it. So that sounds like a Taylor to me. So you don't want to face me. Let's skip around him. Uh, let's sneak up on this. Uh, we're doing no duplicates, so if it is a Pokemon I've already caught before, then we're not going to catch it. So we'll see what it is. I think it is a Taylor. It is a Taylor. It's got Guts and Peck. We'll battle it, but again, we'll have to go for the next Pokemon because we already uh, already have a Taylor, obviously. So we'll see what we got here on the next one. So I'm going to send out Bendito, and I'll probably just attack this thing and, and knock it out really quick with some echoed voices. Uh, because I caught a deck snap Taylo for mine, it actually doesn't have Peck, it learns Supersonic instead, which is kind of weird. Um, that's really not going to do any damage. But I'm going to keep him in here and just try to get some experience, because it's going to be important that my Pokemon have at least some sort of levels. I might even try to power level up Spike a little bit soon to get to Beautifly um, before the gym, because I know Dom is going to be able to hold it down against, against the gym, but the rest of my team isn't really going to be that useful against a Rock-type gym. So I'm kind of hoping here that we find a cool Pokemon that's able to help us out. But thinking about the Pokemon that are on this route, we might kind of be out of luck on that one. So we'll see here. So Bendito's going up to level 9. Still no moves. No attacking moves for Bendito. Alright. Let's go slowly around here. Maybe we'll find a Pokemon that I can catch. Come on. He wants to battle me too. 
I don't want to battle you. I'd much rather do it through the deck snap than the not deck snap. Come on. Oh, well there's the skitty, but we didn't get to it. So whatever we run into here, as long as it's not something we've already caught. It's a Whismur! So we're actually going to catch a Whismur, it looks like. The only thing that stinks about that is we'll catch a Whismur in the Rust Turf Tunnel anyway. But we'll catch this bad boy here. It's got soundproof, I can't even hurt it. Go figure. It's gonna use Pound. So we'll, uh, we'll catch this bad boy here in just a second. And let's go into, I guess Spike is probably a good Pokemon we can use here. And we'll catch the Whismur. So, could have had a Skitty, but I ran into a Whismur instead. What are you gonna do? Such is life. Whismur's actually a cool Pokemon, though. Whismur, believe it or not, was one of the Pokemon I used in my original uh, original playthrough of this game. Um, I got an X-Cloud back in the day. Why I picked this thing, I have no idea. Oh, boy. Uh, that did a lot of damage. Um, that could be bad. But we're gonna switch to Dom. And we'll see how much his echoed voice does. If it does a lot, I might have to just run from it and just say no poke for this route because it's not worth losing a Pokemon over. Let's see how much this does. Okay, so Dom Dom took it pretty well. So I'll go for a mud slap here. Uh, it's gonna lower its accuracy. Maybe it'll miss the echoed voice and it won't kill. So did a good amount. But if he keeps using echoed voice, yeah, he missed. All right, cool. So still a Pokeball and hopefully catch this thing. I don't really have that many Pokeballs actually. Come on, Whisper. Yeah, nice. So that is our sixth Pokemon. A little Whisper just shows up on the screen. A little big. Let's put it right there. And we'll put its nickname on the screen. I need a nickname for a female Whisper. Let's think here. I kind of like Boombox, but it's a female. Whismur is very timid, it starts to cry loudly, when it becomes startled by its own crying and cries even harder. When it finally stops crying, the Pokemon goes to sleep, all tired out. Let's call this Melody, I like that name. If I could type it. M-E-L-O-D-Y. Melody. Kinda cool, so let's add the nickname to the screen as well. And... There it is. Alright, so let's take a look at Melody's stats really quick and see what we got here. Um, level 6 female Whismur with plus special defense, minus speed, soundproof, not bad. Likes to thrash about, so sassy nature. So, not the worst nature in the world. Again, for Nuzlocke, it is pretty uh, beneficial to have Pokemon with high defenses uh, so you can take a lot more hits. But uh, we'll save it in a second. That has been the end of this episode, guys. Thank you for sticking around for this long. Hopefully you enjoyed. 125 likes, and I'll get the next episode going up tomorrow night. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This has been your boy A-Drive. I will catch you guys later. Peace.